Hey everybody, a lot of people are asking me if they live in a red state or a blue state, should they still be voting for me? What about swing states? The answer is easy, no. No matter what state you live in, you should be voting for Donald Trump. And let me tell you why. That's the only way that we can get me and everything I stand for into Washington, D.C. and fulfill the mission that motivated my campaign. Right now, free speech is under withering and relentless attack in America and across the globe. But at least we still have enough of it here that you can watch this video. We can still run an opposition political campaign. Well, in a lot of countries, you can't do that anymore because the state now controls the media. The state censors the internet. Brazil just banned Twitter because Elon Musk refused to censor user speech. Kamala Harris says that Musk better behave himself or he will, quote, lose his privileges. privileges and it should be taken down. They are directly speaking to millions and millions of people without any level of, of, of oversight or regulation. And that has to stop. She thinks, and the Democratic establishment thinks, that free speech is a privilege. Well, you know and I know that it's a right. And if Kamala Harris is elected, the powers behind her will quash that right. They're already halfway there. It will be too late by 2028. Once we're in the grips of totalitarianism, we're not gonna be able to vote our way out of it. This is our last chance to stop them. After long conversations with President Trump and his team and his family, I know that he is fully convinced of this priority. He sees the censorship machine for what it is. Remember, he was kicked off Twitter back in 2021, and he has experienced directly how government agencies are being weaponized to destroy the government's political opponents. He's gonna be relying on me to help clean up that corruption, and that's why I'm relying on my supporters like you to help him return to the White House. As you know, this could be a very close election. A disputed election result would be a disaster for our divided nation. President Trump needs to win in a landslide, both in the Electoral College and in the popular vote. He can't do that unless my supporters join him. So look at the big picture. We have to unify. We have to overthrow the entrenched elites who are now ruining our country. So let's get Donald Trump elected on November 5th so that we can restore our constitution, so that we can revive the middle class, so that we can rescue our democracy and censorship and surveillance, unravel the war machine, protect children's health, and make America healthy again.